Ebens and Ivan's comeback with dynamic duo who revolutionized the Indonesian metal scene. As founding members of the band Burger Kill, they spearheaded a movement that paved the way for local bands to break into the international music circuit. Ebens, Aries Danto, a pioneering Indonesian guitarist and founding member of the metal band Burger Kill, was born in Jakarta, Indonesia on March 26, 1977. He played a crucial role in shaping the Indonesian metal scene, leading the way for local bands to break into the international music circuit. Ebens passed away on September 3rd, 2021, through the DIY ethos and determination. They overcame numerous obstacles, including racist and underestimating comments from the music industry. In response, they found a champion in Jason Q. Tagalung, a metal music enthusiast and tattoo artist who founded Xenophobic Records. Jason's unwavering support and belief in the band's potential helped him defy skepticism and xenophobia, and his label became a beacon for Indonesian metal bands seeking global recognition. In 2003, Jason Hutagalung discovered Berjokil's second album, Berkelet, in Bali, Indonesia. He was instantly captivated by the band's unique sound and Ivan Scumbag's distinctive vocals. This chance discovery sparked a deep passion for the band's music which only intensified when Jason returned to Perth from Japan in 2006 with their third studio album, Beyond Color and Despair. As Jason's love for Berjokil grew, so did his determination to share their music with the world. He began promoting the band at every metal show he attended, even creating his own DIY shirts when official merchandise was scarce. Jason dreamed of seeing Berjokil perform the event was resolute in his mission to bring them to Australia on the global stage. Jason's journey was not without its challenges, however, when he approached local promoters and event organizers, they dismissed the idea of an Indonesian metal band succeeding in Australia. Undeterred, Jason adopted the motto far beyond driven and, with the support of his favorite guitar player, decided to take matters into his own hands. This marked the birth of Xenophobic Records in 2008, which officially released Berjokil's Beyond Color and Despair in Australia as a digipack with a bonus sticker featuring the iconic Berjokil Skullgun logo. Together, Ebens and Berjokil and Jason Hutagalung achieved remarkable success, performing at notable festivals like Soundwave 2009, in West Australia and the Big Day Out Festival, 2010, alongside renowned bands like Devil Driver, All That Remains. In Flames, and Lacunic Oil, they also released the masterpiece album Beyond Color and Despair, which received critical acclaim and solidified their position as a force to be reckoned with in the metal scene. With the tragic death of Ivan Scumbag on July 27, 2006, the Indonesian metal scene was left wondering if anyone could replace him. However, Ebenz's leadership and dedication to the music shone through, and he continued to inspire and influence new generations of metal enthusiasts and musicians. Tragically, Ivan Scumbag passed away after completing the album, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and influence new generations of metal enthusiasts and musicians. Ebenz's contributions to the Indonesian metal scene and his legacy as a trailblazer have been recognized internationally, with a tribute published in Metal Hammer magazine, UK, after his passing. Jason Hugh Tagalong's unwavering dedication to the metal scene and his role in founding xenophobic records remain a testament to the power of perseverance and determination in the face of adversity. His support for Berjokil and other Indonesian metal bands has helped pave the way for a new generation of metalheads to emerge and thrive.